Hello everyone! Good to be here today. As you can see, I got myself a little haircut today. I think I'm looking sharp. Um, yeah, two days in a row. Oh yeah, nights for you. Um, yeah, I couldn't, I can't stream. I usually will try to go Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. That's kind of what I usually do. Um, but that can change. And this week I couldn't stream Wednesday or Saturday. So we got a Thursday and Friday right in between. Um, so here we have our whole kind of regular squad. And we are going to work our way through some of these trainers here south of Moss Deep City. Um, because we are going to start working our way to Victory Road, which is wonderful. There's a lot of spots that we can dive around here. We can do that if we want to. Um, we've done kind of like the dive section that you have to do. You have to dive to get into Zootopolis and you have to dive to get to the Seafloor Cavern. Um, but we have done both of those, so we don't we don't have to dive if we don't want to for the rest of the game, but we can maybe get some of the shards um, just so I can show you what that's about. We can maybe do some other stuff on this and other routes with dive. Um, it's just it's just cool. Um, let's see, Gyarados. Um, I would love to have an electric move, and I might have a plan for that um, because I need to save our Thunderbolt TM. Um, but I do have the Shockwave TM that I think... Oh, I really wanted that to hit. That I think I'm going to end up using on James, I think is my light plan. Uh, but it's nice to have a little rock move there. Two-shot the Gyarados, that works for me. Uh, but how's everybody's Friday been going? Um, my Friday has been going well. Um, I actually don't think, I don't know if I've mentioned this on a stream, but um, a week ago, um, Silver Cave released a cover of Taylor Swift songs. Um, we released, or I mean, I released, it's just me. Um, I released Sparks Fly and Clean. Um, so I was real excited about that. That was really good. Today I uploaded like a little playthrough video of Sparks Fly. Um, I'm really happy with it. I'm really proud of them. And I, I produced them myself. So, um, listen to that if you want to. Um, here, what am I even considering? I'll, I'll bring in Guzzle for a Tentacruel. We can do that Body Slam. Oh yeah, if it's just gonna use rap, we're a-okay. Cause Tentacruel's weakness is that regular defense, even though that bubble bee will hurt a little bit. Eh, not too terrible. Not too terrible. Cause Guzzle needs some EXP too. You know, and at some point, there's still so much that we can do in this game. We have these three fishermen here. Um, we can do a lot of those dive things like I was talking about. Um, I at least want to get to um, the area before Victory Road. Oh, don't confuse me. Just don't do it. Okay, good. Um, hey -o! What's up, Cry? Um, oh, I'll just stay in with Ron. Um, I was just talking about how we're going to try to get to Victory Road today, which is delightful. Um, Sharpedo does not know any water moves. Hey, hey, JJ. How you doing? Um... So we can just body slam this this son of a gun. Oh, that is a one shot. Pretty solid. Good to hear it. Um, yeah, I was just saying how I released a couple songs with Silver Cave that I want everyone to listen to, of course. Um, and I really do kind of like a mix of covers and original songs. Um, I have three. Yeah, I have three EPs now of original music. Um, but I've released some covers as well. The most recent thing that we released last Friday was um, uh, a two-song EP of Taylor Swift covers that I really, really like um, and I'm really happy with. Let's see. We need that repel. Gonna have to get more at some point. Um, I know, I think this is a zinc, if memory serves, yes. Um, 
man, you play these games enough times, and you just know where stuff is. Um, and that is a thing that people talk about all the time. These games can just be very cozy to them. Um, and I think it helps my anxious heart um, that I am just playing a game that I'm very familiar with. Let's do Guzzle and Harry. Oh, I fought them already. Forgot about that. <laughs> Um, yes, there, there isn't usually an item right there in those trees between them, but I guess I got it already. Hello, sir. I have not fought you! Great. Um, um, oh, did you comment that on YouTube? Sorry, Brody. Um, that looks like... Oh, wow, I can't even see what that says. Like a mountain and a alien? Oh, I don't know. Oh, is that oh, is that Silver Cave Gaming? Oh, I see. That must be me. Um, yep. Nice. Um, oh, I guess we're just gonna one shot these star you with surf. That is pretty delightful. Love to see it. Oh, not quite. Camouflage. I never really knew what that move did, honestly. At least not in Gen Three. It might like vary. Um as to what it actually does. Is there someone up here, or is this just the fisherman? I think that's just the fisherman that we already fought. Oh, I think there's a karate guy, yes. And we gonna get him. Running your bare feet, that will toughen up your souls. Mm. Poochie. He's got a machoke. Just your regular old run-of-the-mill machoke uh, karate guy. He goes down in one surf from our gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous boy named Harry. Um, oh, but we do get his number. That's nice. We can probably fight him with a machamp later. Um, I think our lapel ran out. Um, we do need two more followers to get to 60. You are right, Brody. Tell your friends. Tell your friends that I need two more followers to get to 60. Um, that would be nice, though. I would always appreciate that. Do, 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 do. Oh, I think I skipped you specifically when we were on our way to Sutopolis during the Cataclysm. Um, yes, I guess I will also go ahead and say, I must I must mention every time, if you happen to know any anyone who's like a millionaire or like even a billionaire, um, if they could just give me a lot of that money. Um, that would be pretty cool. If if you have that influence anywhere, I would appreciate it. Da -da -da -do 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 -do. Or at least subscribe <laughs> to the channel. <laughs> I'll take five bucks a month. Um, da -da -da -do 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 -do. Excuse me. I'm always burping because I'm always drinking my seltzer. Um, ah, yes. We have this lass here, even though she's literally not a lass. Yes, that is my link tree, Brody. Thank you. That has everything. That has my music. It has the Twitch. has the YouTube. I actually don't know. I might need to put the Silver Cave Gaming YouTube on that link tree. Because um, I do have the Silver Cave Band. Um... YouTube on there, because it is primarily for that. Um, there we go, Harry. Nice level 41. I will be nice, I will be nice, I will be happy to return to Sky Pillar at some point and try to catch Rayquaza again when he doesn't completely um, one-shot every um, Pokemon on our team. Brody, I appreciate you. <laughs> you don't have to do that, but I appreciate you. Um, let's see. So we got our boy James back. Um, I'm actually not going to teach him Shockwave just yet, because there is one other thing I'd like to do. Okay, we did fight him. Oh yeah, because we fought some trainers on our way to Pacific Log. <laughs> Da -da 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 -da. 
Don't have a Sharpedo or a Carvana. Okay, good. That is actually ideal for James. Use that super effective confusion. Um, oh, it is not one shot. Um, but, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yes. James, I am going to teach him Shockwave. He also learns Psychic. Um, he does not learn it until level 46. So as long as we have that before the Elite Four, I'll be happy with that. You know? Um, well, let's see. We'll use that fly. I feel like I would fly out of the whirlpool. I feel like it wouldn't hurt me if I was in the air. But, you know. This is Pokemon, after all. They have their own logic. There we go. Ba -da -da -do 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 -do. You're crestfallen. Um, do, 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 do. But, yeah, I'm excited that it's the weekend. I hope everybody can have a nice weekend. We have a lot of family stuff planned, which is why I can't get in tomorrow. Um, I really do love that Saturday afternoon stream. That always makes me happy. Even though, as we're into the summer here, the nights are just so delightful. Um, and it just doesn't get dark until, like, 9 o'clock or so, 9.30. Um, ooh, any weekend plans? Oh, yes, I was just saying. Um, we are seeing my wife's family tomorrow, which will be really nice. Um, and then we're doing some stuff with my siblings on Sunday, which will also be very nice. Um, I feel like I s I'm very happy because I used to live in California. I used to live across the country from my family. Um, we're not going to learn safe. Um, I used to live across the country from my family, and I'm very happy that I'm much closer to them, so I could see them, you know, theoretically anytime. Um, but I still sometimes feel like I don't... still sometimes feel like I don't spend enough time, or don't carve out, carve out even enough time um, to see them sometimes. Um, hello, Loctess, hello! Um, thank you for being here tonight. Oh, let's see. I swear, I was about to say, I swear there's a guy in a little spot. There he is. There he is. There's no stronger trainer than I, he says. Well, he hasn't met me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yeah, we can always, we can always see our families more. I'm sure that's a pretty common thing for most people. I do love Shiftry. Shiftry is a, just a neat and scary little guy. Ooh, a Hyper Potion. Uh, I guess this is a cool trainer after all. A lot of the trainers that we'll run into now... Pound, that is not going to do a lot. Um, a lot of the trainers that we run into now are going to be cool trainers because we're toward the end of the game. Nose Pass. Ah, it is like Loch Ness, Brody. You're right. Um, we'll keep Ron out because Ron's actually going to evolve soon. I, I will double check. I think it's 45. Um... Let's see. Laron evolves at 42. Oh, we're so close. Ha ha ha. I love to see that. We'll get... Uh, Ron's probably going to evolve this episode. Or at least that's my new goal. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I made that when I was like 13. Hey, I love it. It still works. Um, do, 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 do. Um... At some point, we are going to have to pop back and grab Bentacool because we will need to use Waterfall. So here is kind of like the last little portion of water, this last little channel. Let's get into this double battle here. Um, let's... We're going to double up on Tentacruel, because I think he's going to be our more... Even though I don't think we're going to knock him out. Um, paralysis would be great. Oh, that's okay. That should be enough for Dragon Breath to do the trick. Tentacruel's very specially defensive. Um, lovely. Oh. Now it's lovely. <laughs> 
Sea King is a, is an interesting Pokemon. Uh. <laughs> oh, you don't have Discord? That's okay, Brody. That's no big deal. I actually made that because Tech wanted um, to have a Discord. I, like, never really used Discord, but I am starting to learn it a little bit. I know a lot of people like to uh, use Discord, so I decided to try to learn a little. So, like I, like I was saying, this is our last little channel. As you can see, it kind of funnels over here. Um, let me just pat on that real quick. So, as we get down here to Evergrande City, we get to this waterfall. And I cannot go up it. And that's kind of like the last thing that you need to do um, to get to Victory Road is you need to use Waterfall, beat the 8th gym, be able to use Waterfall, and get up to Victory Road. Um, and like I said, I don't have Ventacool because we were training some other Pokemon. Um, I'm actually going to pop up here because I want to buy more of those Super Repels. And then I'll pop over back to Moss Deep City and we will make our way back. Excuse me. Bop, 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 bop. And again, guys, after playing Yellow and Crystal, using this PC just makes my heart sing. It's so, so great. I love it. Um, so let's do James for now. James the Chimeco. Three, 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 three. <laughs> um, so let's pop down here. I think we have a big pearl that we can sell. And that'll make this... Oh, this is what we're buying. I was like, what is happening? <laughs> Go. It's great. Do I need revives? Oh, not really, but I'll buy four more. How about Hyper Potions? We're sitting pretty. Um, great. So let me sell that there. Big Pearl. Hooray. Uh, we can use that Calcium and that Zinc. That'll be nice. Actually, while I do this, a little appreciation for the Mart music. I think this is the first game that has its own Pokemon music, so that's cool. Um, or this generation, anyway. Um, Calcium. We need a little extra special attack. Let's put it... I would put it on James. Uh, I'll put it on Harry. Lovely. And then special defense. Um, I'm gonna put that on... Blaine. So we can tank those ice moves. Um, okay. So now we're gonna do more flying. And this will actually be nice. Once we kind of get over this, um, first waterfall here, there is a Pokemon Center that's sitting right there in front of the, um... Victory Road entrance, so we'll be able to fly back there. So let me get my repel back up. Uh, and I gotta give that shell bell to somebody too. Oops. Ba -da 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 -da. Gosh dang it guys, I keep going to the little shallow areas. There we go. Um <laughs> Brody, you are you are my champion. Um Hello, Lola. Oops, I thought the repel went away. All right, so now that we're here, we can finally ascend this waterfall. Great. Ooh, we've got some new music here too, I think. Yes, it's delightful. Um, this is the Pokemon League music. As you can see, there's a lot of beautiful flowers right here. In the remake, they really do something cool with all these flowers. Um, I won't give that away, but it's really, really cool. Um, ba -ba -ba -la 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 -la. Mm. 
Alrighty, so... Oh, I think this is Scott right here. It is! SCG, you've clawed your way up to face the Pokemon League. I'm happy for you. You made my cheering worthwhile. If you were to become the Pokemon League champion, I'll get in touch with you then. Okay, SCG, go for greatness. Eyebrows, eyebrows. Um... <laughs> Brody, you don't have to, man. I appreciate you, though. Um, okay. So there's a few things that we gotta do. Our first time through Victory Road here. Um, I want to... I want to make sure that we have James, because James is going to use a move that's gonna really make this easier for us. Um, excuse me. But I am probably going to come back for Bentacool because there is some waterfalling that we can do in Victory Road. Da, 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 da. But there is one big thing. So let me go ahead and save first because I have anxiety. Great. So now I'll drop this repel and we can enter Victory Road. Um. Oh. Incredible music, very uh, mysterious. Um, so there's kind of a lot of winding little paths that you can take. Um, I'll go ahead and fight this fella while we're here. Um, it is nice to kind of fight this guy when you're close to the entrance, so that way you can pop back to the Pokemon Center. Um, these trainers are going to be a lot tougher than what we have encountered so far. And it's not going to be good for Blaine, because Blaine can't do anything against a Magneton. Um, but we can put it to sleep to get a nice safe switch in. I love to see that. Um, let's see. Ah, yes, Piccolo. Not Piccolo. Guzzle. And we'll use that Flamethrower. And that auto one-shot it, I would guess. It does indeed. Love to see it. Um, Muck. Lovely. Um, I don't think we've seen a Muck in our playthrough so far. I'll bring James out. Hmm. I love our Chimeco. I love this Pokemon. It is just so cute and delightful, and I wish it was stronger, but I wanted to use it. Because it's a favorite of mine. And if you are playing through your copy of Pokemon Emerald, you too should use your favorites. Or just, you know, whatever you want. It's gonna... Oh, wait, no, there's a sludge. Oh, it's got a full restore. Oh, I'm pretty sure a sludge is gonna kill me. So maybe that was foolish that I did that. Ah! Oh, the miss! Oh! That's horrible. I hate that. That makes me sad. But we can get Ron out here. Ron, Sludge actually won't affect Ron, which is delightful. There we go. And Ron's gonna evolve this episode, kids. I actually don't really remember exactly how this first floor goes. Um... Ah, yes, you can just get to this item over here and fight that one guy. A Max Elixir, that's nice, though. Okay, so now I'm actually going to pop back into the Pokemon Center here. Ah, perfect timing. That is maximum repel uh, efficiency right there. Okay. And we're back. Um, let me go ahead and save again. Don't remember. Um, Alright. So, there is something in... Sorry, let me do that. There is something here in Victory Road that is a big surprise. And in Ruby and Sapphire, it happens at the end. But here in Emerald, it's actually going to happen right now. Wally? 
Hi, SCG. I bet you're surprised to see me here. I sure am. I made it all the way here, and it's all thanks to you. Losing to you that time made me stronger, but I'm not going to lose anymore. I'm going to win. Wow. So this is really cool. Um, what Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald do is they kind of like let your original rival fall off. Um, and then it kind of leaves this void for Wally to be kind of like the surprise last rival fight once you get to Victory Road. It is pretty cool. I feel like they could set it up a little better, but I do really like it, and I like Wally as a character. Um, ah, yes, Altaria v. Altaria. Um, thank you, Brody. So here, I'm going to try... Okay, he's going to try to use Dragon Breath as well. Um, so it's not doing a ton. Hopefully we can get that paralysis. That would be divine. Nope, not quite. Uh, let's do this, actually. Hmm. He had the same idea. Even though, I will say, I will cry foul um, when it comes to Winona, because her Altaria is at, like, level 30, and it knows Dragon Dance. But we didn't learn Dragon Dance until, like, just now. So that's kind of some bull crap. Um, luckily, Dragon Breath does not use his Altaria's attack. Um, really hoping this kills it. That would be really nice. It did not. Um, but that's okay. We can go into Ron here. I actually didn't remember what he started with. Um, and Laron, thankfully, can really tank a lot when he, when he gets the right matchup. When he does not, he can't take... Any fighting attack or any ground attack is going to destroy our boy Ron, but... Alright, Roselia, lovely. Um, here is Guzzle Time. And I really like Wally's little team that he's got, because you can tell he kind of, like, built it around kind of, like, Verdant Turf. Um where he is, um, which is really cool, because you can catch Roselia around there, not in Emerald, but in the other games you can. Um, you can catch Magneton kind of near there. He has a Magneton, we haven't seen that yet. Um, but it's really cool, and here's Delcaddy. Um, let's see, ah, oh, yes, the guy at Devon, he'll give you an EXP share, that's actually not a bad idea. Um, for Delcaddy, we'll go into Ron, because again, Ron's gonna be able to tank anything from the Delcaddy. Lovely. Um, it is kind of annoying because it's probably going to use atta uh, Attract. Or, I don't remember if Delcaddy has the ability Cute Charm. Um, where if you touch it, you can get infatuated. Yeah, Ron's eating that all day long. Ah, Try Attack. Oh, Assist is an interesting move. It lets you use any of the moves that any of your party members have. Um, it's very kind of just like random and weird, but you got it to use try attack so that's kind of cool. Probably for Magneton, 100% for Magneton actually. Oh, excuse me. Yes, because Wally's squad is kind of a mix of like like, powerful, but also, like, uh, humble. Powerful, yet humble. I really like his, I really like his, uh, team that they have built for him here. Ah, oh, the chat is a bit of a delay. I'm sorry. Sometimes it does that. Um, Gardevoir. Yes, so now his Ralts has evolved fully into Gardevoir. So what am I going to do here? Um, oh. I might try to put it to sleep with James. That might be the play here. Oh, I love Gardevoir. It's one of my favorite Pokemon. It is delightful. Um, I always loved how Wally had one in this fight at the end of the game. Um, and in the remakes of these games, he actually has a different Pokemon, which is interesting. We'll go into Harry. 
Harry has uh, some really good special defense, so we should be able to tank any... Ah, uh, yes. His Gardevoir... His Gardevoir really likes to um, set up with double team. So I want to... That's why I wanted to make sure we put him to sleep. Ah, you still think the champ is Steven Brody? Well, we don't know who the champion is in this game, do we? Um, ah, Future Sight. Future Sight's an interesting move. Um, it, like, foresees an attack, and then a couple turns later, it will hit. It's it's interesting. I don't ever use it too much, but um, Wally's Gardevoir always seems to use it. I believe he has a four story. He does. So that's annoying. At least our Surfs are hitting. Lovely. Don't have another one. He does have another one! Guys! Wally. Ah, Calm Mind. Yes, if Gardevoir can really get set up with Calm Minds and Double Teams, we could be in trouble. So we don't want that to happen. But it looks like it's kind of happening. <laughs> I actually don't know if his Gardevoir knows straight up Psychic. It does. There it is. Um, I'm thinking Piccolo should be able to live a Psychic or just straight up outspeed. Ah, that's why we keep Quick Attack. Yeah. Perfect. That's why you should always keep Quick Attack, kids. Perfect. We are finally able to defeat Wally. Wow, SGG, you are strong after all. Yeah, I know, man. I know, man. I couldn't beat you today, SGG, but one of these days, I'll catch up to you. And then he just kind of stands there. It's kind of weird. Um, but we need to heal the squad. So as we make our way through Victory Road, um, there's a couple things that I'm going to try to keep in mind. Um, there are a lot of HMs that we have to use. And we're actually going to have to box a couple of our squad members um, because we need uh, Ziggy to use Rock Smash. Um, and here, oh boy. I'll get rid of Laron. And here, I will get rid of that water type is probably just gonna get come really in handy. Um, I will box Altaria for now. I will come back for them. So, yes, once I can really kind of explore everything, um, I will fight more of the trainers, but really my strategy right here, um, let me get, I'm gonna pick a little out to the front. Um, you got too many points. You're too strong. Um, I want to try to skip a lot of these trainers if I can. Um, well, there's Wally just hanging out. All right, this one is mandatory, so let's do this. Um, I am finally... I usually don't do this, but I actually want to show it to you. And it kind of works out. Um, I usually don't teach a Pokemon Flash... Um, but I'm going to teach it to James just for getting through Victory Road. And I will get rid of Heal Bell. Because we can just use full heals or whatever for that. Lovely. So let's fight this person. I don't remember what she has. I want to say she has some grass type. Just the one, and it isn't Roselia. I thought she had a grass type. One flamethrower should do the trick, but we've been toxic. Toxic is a really nice move. Pretty much any Pokemon can learn it in these early gens. Um, it's actually pretty interesting because I was playing through um, Violet recently. And I found that a lot of my Pokemon couldn't learn Toxic. Um, but I'm obviously used to these early gens where so many Pokemon do. Or, like, all of them do. Um, so that was really weird. Um, here, we have tons of antidotes. We're swimming in them. 
Lovely. All right. Uh, I'll start with Piccolo. All right, so now that we get past the first floor of Victory Road, it is dark. And darkness functions differently in this game like it does in the other Pokemon games. Here, um, the darkness is just like a little circle. But when you use Flash, oh, it just opens up. So it's still not the whole screen, but it really opens up the circle a lot. And I am realizing something. I don't have a Pokemon to use Strength right now, which annoys me greatly. I'm pretty sure Zigzagoon can't learn Strength. Uh, and I'm not going to teach it to Guzzle or Piccolo. That's really annoying. All right, please hold. Got to go back and get Laron. Pardon me. I made a crucial error. Don't be like me. A lot of times when I play through these older games, I like to just kind of have all of the HMs readily available on my team. Uh, but sometimes that's just kind of not possible. And as you get into the later games, specifically Generation 4, um, speci Generation 4, there are so, so many HMs. Um, all right, but we're back. Uh, let's see. Oh, do I do ROM hacks or just the regular games? Um, I have done both. I tend to just play the regular games. Um, but specifically the one you were talking about, Brody, um, Yellow Legacy, or like Crystal Legacy specifically. I really like those. All right. So now, I think I more or less remember how to get out of Victory Road without using Flash. But I wanted to show that off, so we can kind of make our way through here and push these boulders in. Um, okay, I think, I think we need to go up there. Oops. Ah, yes, I think some of these Pokemon are going to be, yes, right at level 41 or 42. So our repels might not work. So that's why I got Piccolo out in the front here so we can definitely run away <laughs> with his high speed. All right. So we go down here and we come right up here. Yes, we'll have to fight you. Uh, let Ziggy evolve. I mean, maybe. We'll see. Um, let's see. I'll save. Because um, every fight is going to be a little bit different or a little more difficult because I don't have our full complement, our full squad. Um, but just having Melodic alone is going to be really helpful. Like against this Claydol, for example. But, but Piccolo will be good too, so this is going to work out. Um, lovely. Sandstorm, easy peasy. Just gonna do a little bit of chip jam chip damage. But we'll be out of here relatively safely. Perfecto. Um, I will definitely swap train Ziggy. I got you. Um, um, we'll use that other super pal. We'll pop over here. Oh, I guess this was the wrong way to go. Huh. How silly. Um, but yes, we are here in the first floor. Nice Ultra Ball. Um, is there another hidden item right there? No. So I went the wrong way. <laughs> How delightful. <laughs> yes, I do need to go this way. Oh boy, guys. Ah, yes. Um, I know I have to get down to this ladder. Okay, I'll fight that guy later. I know we have to fight this woman. Um, so I will put Ziggy in. Got some nice experience on our, on our gal. <laughs> Before the end of the stream, you best see level 20. You know what? I think I can make that happen for you. 
We only got two and a half more levels, and we'll get one of those right now. And I knew this trainer used some Pokemon that Harry would be good against. So we can one-shot Sand Slash. That's Gorge. Level 18. Ah, Tropius. Um, I would love to have... Uh, Blaine or... <laughs> Oh no, Blaine or Guzzle here, but we'll go Bron. We'll just have to rock tomb it. Tropius is kind of more of a bulky Pokemon. It's not tremendously powerful in its attacks. Oh, well, that's good. Unless this does a ton of damage and I just look like a fool. I mean, it didn't do that a little. Oh boy, that's a solar beam right there, kids. That is a solar beam. Whoo! Solar beam looks so cool in this game. Um, and that's fine, though. Um, how much does this do? Like, nothing? Oh, wow, we're going to have some trouble with this Tropius, actually. Especially if it's going to be body slamming. Um, okay. I'm going to stay in with Piccolo. This is going to be annoying, though. Um, let's see... Let's see, is anyone else's video buffering? Oh, okay. Um, it doesn't look like I'm really dropping many frames, so hopefully it's not buffering for anyone else. Sorry, JJ. Um, let's see. Oh, yours is? Brody, I'm sorry. There we go. It's smooth for you, Cry. Okay. So there's a little bit of... Inconsistency. <laughs> fix it, JK. <laughs> Sorry, I wish I could fix your computer. Um. Maybe just try refreshing. Um. All right, so Ziggy's at 18. We'll bring Harry back in here against the Nine Tails. I knew was going to use Confuse Ray. I hate Confuse Ray very much, as you all know. We all know that about me. <laughs> no one's ever heard of that idea. I mean, hey. Oh, thank you. There we go. About to confuse half me there. Hmm. All right, Ziggy to level 19. I think we'll be able to get Ziggy to fly to Scotland and fix your computer. I think I can make that happen. Um, it might not be soon. Let's see. All right. We got some healing to do. I'll just use these super potions. Um, and I should have... So we'll use my lava cookie on Piccolo. Great. Um, okay, so for this part of Victory Road, I can go up that uh, set of stairs right there and not use Waterfall, but if you use this Waterfall here, you can take a nice shortcut kind of around the bend here and go down that one, and this will get you to the next floor that you need to go to, um, which is really nice. Um, there is a double battle here. We don't have to do it, um, so I probably won't right now. Um, I will still save, though. Because, again, I do want to come back in here. Um... Because I think there is one more mandatory fight that we have to do. Um, all right, and this takes us to our last room. This is actually the first room. Um, <laughs> you got a toy gecko and you called a trico. How nice. Um, ah, yes, we do have to fight this fellow. I don't remember what you have. 
I'll let Piccolo go first. Mm. I think I did remember that this guy had a cat turn. Um, that's alright, I'll do some screech uh, quick attack action like I did on that Tropius. Oh, that does more damage than I want it to. I like to see ingrain, that's not gonna cause us too many problems. Um, okay. So I'll probably stall you out a little bit. Oh, my top five Pokemon. I love this question. Um, number one is Lugia, as we know. Um, number two is probably Espeon. Then there's a big hodgepodge. Um, it could be a lot of other different options, but I tend to say the other three are going to be Ampharos, Skarmory, and probably Typhlosion. Hisuian Typhlosion specifically. Um, that's probably my top five. But Absol is right there. Um, Tyranitar is really up there. It just depends. Um, excuse me. I would love to see Ron get to 42. I don't know if this Pelipper has water moves. If we can defeat it. Um, I have a plan for, for Ziggy, Brody. Don't worry. Um, okay, we're going to see a Protect, which I hate always. Um, that is good. I just really don't want to see a water move. I don't think it has one. I, think, I don't think it learns, like... Um, uh, hydro Pump or anything. It might. Ah, oh, the Double Protect. How unlucky. Um, stockpile is really interesting because you can use it to um, heal yourself or spit up your Stockpile to do damage, um, which is really interesting. But in other games, it actually raises your defense, so it makes it more kind of like viable to use. But in this game, it doesn't, so we can kind of deal with it pretty easily. But... Bronze at level 42 now, so we go all evolve. Yes. Ugh. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Agron is so cool. It's a freaking, like, Godzilla Triceratops. It's wonderful. Um, so that is great to see. Um, just use a super potion right quick. Great. So now here. Um, we'll have Harry... And here is Ziggy for you. Oh, Ziggy has an item. Another antidote. Um. <laughs> Alright, so we actually, we actually don't have to fight this double battle, but I will do this one. Because we can finally get Ziggy to level 20 and evolve her, which is nice. But this double battle does have a really interesting combination. Uh, because it has a slacking which we know from fighting our dad has that really terrible ability. But its partner will use skill swap. And what that does is that it swaps abilities with its partner, giving it the bad ability and slacking a decent ability so that it can use its really, really high stats. And as you can see, there he is. So here. We'll use Surf and we'll get Ziggy out of there. Um... I'm just going to bring in Bentacool, because if they attack into it and it dies, that's fine with me. Oh wow, Ice Beam. Yeah, Slacking can use a lot of moves. And Surf splits the damage, and there's that skill swap. So now Gardevoir won't be able to use Truant, um, but... Uh, Slacking doesn't have it, which is the more important thing. 
Um, we'll double surf. Okay, that's fine. No big deal to see Bentacool go. Um, I think Gardevoir will have to rest this turn. So now we're going to bring in Ron. Um, hopefully I can resist some of the Slacking's moves. Um, and we can knock it out next turn. Because with no Truant, it can be a real problem. Um, and I'm going to Metal Claw on it. Oh, Flamethrower. That's, so it knows Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, and Flamethrower. That is insane. Um... Oh, and it swapped the skills again. That's interesting. All right, so this should knock it out, which I love to see. Wow, that was actually a really smart play by Gardevoir because it knew that I was about to knock it out. Dang. They're making moves. Ah, uh, Dusclops. We have not seen Dusclops yet. This is what Duskull evolves into. Doo -doo. know if Ron will live this. Doesn't have the best special defense. Oh, nice, Ron. Ron, baby. There's Ziggy's level 20 for you, Brody. Oh, another slacking. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> oh, this is going to be tough, kids. Let's see how we do. So let's just use another Surf, and you, we'll just try to slow you down if we can. Nope. Burr, burr. Okay. Um, I love you, James, but Piccolo is what we need to do here. Because we gotta hit this slacking as hard as humanly possible. It's 12.30 for you, dang. Um, let's see. I'll, I'll make sure we can get out of this battle as quick as possible so you can see with your own two eyes your pride and joy, Ziggy, evolve. Um, so let's see. Oh, Aerial Ace, that's terrible. I am happy to see that I'm faster. Um, okay. Oh, no. Oh, great clutch critical hit. That is wonderful. Ah, oh, hooray. All right, I think we're going to be okay, team. There we go. Whew! That's a tough one. That's a tough one right at the end of Victory Road. Hmm. Cool Trainer Caitlin and Cool Trainer Quincy were defeated. Um, all right. Now's the moment of truth. Are you ready, Brody? Ziggy is evolving. <laughs> I'm glad you're excited. <laughs> Presses B. <laughs> Good job, Cry. Oh. And there is Linoon. I always said it was Linoon when I was growing up, but obviously it's Linoon because it's a zigzag and a line. It's great. Um, so that was delightful. Oof, we got our poison here, but we are out of here. Um, actually, I'm going to heal that poison because that is annoying me. So now we have this beautiful brick, all of these flowers. Oh, these arches leading up to the Pokemon League. We've made it, gang. Delightful. So that is where we challenge the Elite Four, and here is where we will heal our tired team. They've earned a rest. Do, do, beetle, do. Hooray. <laughs> My baby has grown up. I'm not crying. You are. Um, okay, so now we can buy some full restores. I really want to buy some. Uh, I'm going to buy like 20. I always really like to be nice and stocked up on potions when we go into the Pokemon League. Hyper potions. 
Um, yeah, we'll just buy four of those. And then revives. We'll have well thirty-five. And I think we have some max of max revives too. So we're sitting we're sitting nicely as far as healing items go for the Pokemon League. Um, I do definitely want to go back into Victory Road. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Ah, what I can do here um, is I can teach Ziggy Strength, so that way um, I can let Agron rest for a while. Get a Ziggy plush? I mean, you can. <laughs> Or maybe I should. Or I can make a special emote. Let's see. Alright, so now if I want to go back into Victory Road. I don't think I need... No, you don't need... Um, whatchamacallit. Waterfall. So we can, we can store Agron... And then we can withdraw Blame. There we go. Um, and we'll also... This is annoying. I always have to go to, to move Pokemon. Um, let's see. Come in and ride on time! Um, all right, so we'll, we'll put Bentacool in the thing here. We evolved our Ron into Agron. I'm letting him rest in the PC for now. Uh, because we are hopping back in Victory Road, and we're going to fight a few more battles. Because um, we just made it through. Um, <laughs> yes, Ziggy finally evolved. It was great. Um, I love that Ziggy has become such a nice, like, supporting character. <laughs> Even though she just hasn't been out a ton, but when she has, she's been she's been a crowd pleaser. Um, there are also some other items that we can pick up here. Um, Brody, I I probably will at this point. <laughs> um, let's see. So we can use. Flash on Chimeco. Great. And make our way back here. Okay, great. <laughs> Sliggy. Uh, okay, great. Let's see. Can we get a double battle? That would be wonderful. Great. So we will fight this beautiful little double battle here. Ah, Lunatone and Sableye. Um, this is interesting. Not the best matchup in the world. I'm gonna get James out of here and let Harry do some surfing against this Lunatone. Much like we would maybe do against Tate and Liza. It's interesting, Shadow Ball is a physical attack in this game, um, but it lowers special defense. So you can't really, it can't really combo on itself like you would maybe want it to. Um, but both of our special defenses are down right now, which I don't enjoy. Um, Absol, I don't remember if Absol is really fast. I would like it to not be. I, I love Absol, though. Truly one of my faves. Okay, good. We're faster than it. Um, <laughs> the raccoon is more loved than Lugia at this point. Hey, man. Lugi is my boy forever. I do love Ziggy, though. Ziggy's delightful. Um, I wish this was like the gym in Duford Town, and you got a little more light every time you defeated someone. Um, so I don't have a ton of super potions left, but we do still have those soda pops from back in the day. Um... Yeah, Torkoal is going to be a little bit annoying. Um, all right. That's not too terrible. That's maybe a three shot. Hopefully. Please. Dang it. 
because now I don't want her to use a full restore. Please don't. She did. She used a full restore, guys. That annoys me greatly. All right, so there's that. <laughs> I don't know. If, I don't know if Ziggy Ratcoon. <laughs> I don't know if Ziggy's gonna survive. Um, I'm using all my dragon breaths on this freaking Torkoal. There we go. Don't protect me. There we go. Um, that should go to 42. Lovely. Metacham. Uh, we'll stay in. Keep using Fly. Metacham, I don't think we've seen Metacham yet. We've seen Metatite um, earlier in the game, but this is what Metatite evolves into. Delightful little fighting dog thing. Um, Metacham is kind of a weird design now that I think about it. Um, Ludicolo, this is also going to be good for Blaine. Use that fly. Ah, yes, here in the cave, it's going to be Shadow Ball. Um, I think a Dragon Breath will do us from here. No, it won't. No, it won't. It is Psychic and Fighting uh, tech. Um, there we go. All right, so let's send you back, and we'll get James in the front. Yeah, there's a lot of trainers we can get to here. Do -do -do. Um, okay, this is interesting. Do we need Surf or Waterfall to get back up there? Okay. So we need Waterfall to get back up there, but I do have a little plan. Um, that's annoying. So we can do this. Make our way back to where we came from. Alright, so this is an interesting little tidbit. Um, once you get to the end of the game here, you can actually fly to two different areas in Evergrande City. Right here it says Evergrande City Pokemon League. And if you go down just a little bit, still on that same little icon, on the bottom half of it, It'll say Evergrande City Pokemon Center. So, Pokemon Lee, Pokemon Center. So, if you go to the bottom half of the icon, you will go to the Pokemon Center that is before Victory Road. But if you go to the top half of the icon, you will go to the Pokemon League, which is neat. Um, so, I will heal the squad. Ba, ba, da, da, da. Um, okay. Oh, got a nice little call. Hello, Ernest. Um, the next time very well might be the Elite Four. I might need to train a little bit more, um, because our squad still isn't at the ideal level. Um, but, um, with that, guys, it might be a good stopping place for me tonight. Um... This has been delightful. I'm really glad we were able to get through Victory Road. We're still going to do a little bit more exploring, um, fight some of the trainers. There's actually a couple neat little surprises in there that I'm excited to show you about. Um, so we'll do that, train the squad a little bit. Um, excuse me. I might do a little bit of grinding off screen um, just to get us ready for the Pokemon League. Um, oh, we did evolve Ziggy, absolutely. Um, yeah, I might do a little bit of grinding off screen. Um, just to get us ready for the Pokemon Leagues, just so I can really hit that for you guys and uh, show you what it's about. But, anyway, folks, I appreciate you being here, as always. Um, playing these games makes me very happy. And I, again, I won't be here um, this weekend, but we should be able to come back on Monday, like usual. Um, yeah, it's great. Having a great time. And if you're watching on YouTube, appreciate you. And yep, I'll see you next time, dude. All right. Peace, folks.